Today we're having a little adventure. We decided to just go out and nailed it. I have no idea what we're doing. Um, everybody's dressing cute, but today I decided to be the tomboy. Today I'm the tomboy of the group. Let's do this. She's not the tomboy of the group. Aubrey <laughs> said, I am not wearing pants. I am the height of fashion with my dress, sweatshirt, and Burks. <laughs> <laughs> So what are we doing today? <laughs> don't worry about socks. I don't know either. Let's just get in the car and drive somewhere, huh? Okay, cool we'll beans. figure it out on the way. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Okay. What a wicked little turn out of this bridge here. Uh -huh. The ladies have become way too cool for me. So now they're up in front of me mocking my every movement. We well, have now made it to Coronado guess Island. Why? Guess why? Adventure is a flurry at Jose and Aubrey. They've yeah, booted me off the shoes, channel. They've absolutely booted me off the channel now. <laughs> you step on that. Chase the thumb dog. It's seriously like being oh, in middle school again. Pupu de perro. Mierda. Mierda. The Hotel Del, or Hotel Del Coronado, is one of very few wooden Victorian beach resorts still around in the United States today. And it is the second largest wooden structure in the country. It opened in 1888 and has hosted many royalty presidents and was used by the government to house pilots during World War II. Every detail of the hotel oozes opulence and analog elegance. The weather has caught up with us. Terrible. So we're trying to find a quick place to seek refuge from the, the storm and um, you're trying to check and see what we've got. And then uh, grab a bite to eat as well. It's pouring down. She's exaggerating. It's just a few little sprinkles. Look! Look at this. It's just a few sprinkles. No, look at actually the cars. I mean, it's not San Diego. Over exaggerating. Really. Exactly. Despite the rain and wind, we decided to walk several blocks to Coronado Brewing Company. And we managed to find a seat outside. No surprise. After all, it's hard not to feel the wicked vibes all around us on Coronado Island. Cheers! Do you ever just wake up sometimes and know that the day is destined to be a good day. That's how we woke up today. We invited some friends over. Of course, you know already Aubrey, but the good news is Aubrey have a YouTube channel, so we will put her down in the description. Aubrey got a YouTube channel. You have to go and follow her. We just keep running into Canadians. We love Canadians. Mm -hmm. We didn't realize we love Canadians as much as we love Canadians. I'm excited because we met some new friends. Uh, we're gonna link them down below too. They have a very cool Instagram with super cool pictures. And we invite them for breakfast. So we're having probably some tacos. I don't know, <laughs> breakfast tacos. When in San Diego, <coughs> oh my gosh. You just have breakfast tacos. Or it's, it's actually like, like breakfast bean burritos, realistically. Guys, the sun has come out today. All right, we're about to sneak up on our Canadian friends here. They're unsuspecting. They have no clue that I'm coming. Actually, Claire just saw me. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, kiddos? Oh, what you doing? oh, look at these digs! <laughs> look at this! You interrupted me during the most important part of the morning. What's that? Coffee. Ah! 
This is Jake and Claire. They're our new friends from Canada. Look at that. So basically just the pre-introduction before the actual introduction of them. I just had to interrupt them and make them feel awkward for a little bit. But they're doing exactly what we're doing and that is coffee in the morning. Woo, I just about slipped and busted my butt on this wet ground. Ike's ready for some coffee too, aren't you Ike? I wish wow. you all... Super wow. Wow. <laughs> I wish the bus was a convertible. Oh, that'd be nice, right? Uh, oh, nice. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And this is how it looks. I like this stuff too. Do you normally ambush people with Oh, yeah, I love that. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. It's always fun. Your like little that. Dan. Oh, damn it. Oh, I did it. Hey Jake! Good job! Give me that frisbee, Jake! Boy, ready? Ready? Mike, do you want to sit there with me? So, I am in my extremely festive shirt today, in the back of Huck Finn. And Aubrey has told us, well not really told us, she's invited us to ride with her to Sunset Cliffs. And we're also really stoked to have you guys riding in the back seat with me while the ladies take the front seats. The Adventures of Mario and Aubrey! Boom, boom. I have a feeling this is going to become a series. <laughs> it is so bouncy back here. I'm having a blast. I'm booty! Yeah. Ike's just chilling up here too. Hey Ike. Where are you going to drive us, buddy? Hey Ike. Where, where are, are you, we going? Or where are you taking us? Yeah? Are you okay with that? I'm okay. You're a pretty cool dude. We trust Ike. He was very highly reviewed on Uber, so I think we're in safe pause. I'm not sure if you just heard Aubrey or not, because she's a little further in front of us. But she just kind of paused, said, isn't this just great? This is our life, guys. This is our, life. our day today. Yeah, it does. Let's go here. I think it'll be cool to go there. Real sweet. Aubrey's like, let's let you follow me and the GPS and be. Oh, this is great. 
great. I'm having so much fun. It's like being a kid, but in a really huge jungle gym. He made it. It's not quite as cold now because of all the activity. Oh, gnarly. Kick me. Are you okay? Be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. Oh, nicely actually. Okay. We have made it back from quite possibly the most beautiful view ever. Ah! So pretty. It was beautiful. 